A bicyclist is coasting downhill. Neglect any friction impeding the motion. All right, so this is the first time we have drawn a force that is acting on an object that's on a inclined surface, so a slanted surface like this. All right, the object is also moving diagonally. So let's go ahead and draw our first force. So our fir first force is weight, and that weight is going to act straight down. It doesn't matter that we're on a on an inclined surface, no matter what the object is doing, if we're near the surface of the Earth or any other planet, we're going to have a weight acting straight down. All right, next we're going to have a normal force. Now, normal force usually acts if we're on a surface directly upwards, if we have a little object here. But since our surface is going to rotate, this whole thing is going to rotate as well. So when we have this diagonal surface, that normal force is going to rotate diagonally up and to the right in this case. So just think about this picture kind of rotating a little bit clockwise. And that's what happens with the normal force. So for the normal force, we're going to have diagonally up right as our answer. We don't have any tension. The problem says to neglect friction, so we can put none as well. We do have a drag. So remember, the drag is based on the motion. And since the motion is diagonal, the drag is also going to be diagonal. So the drag is going to be up the hill. And so we're going to say diagonally up and to the left. All right, and then finally, it says thrust or applied force. If we, if the bicyclist was pedaling, we would have one down to the right or acting in the direction that the bicyclist is going. But our problem says that the bicyclist is coasting down the hill, so we're going to put none. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at another problem. So this one says a student is climbing a rock face. Neglect any drag and friction impeding the motion. All right, so we are going to have our weight straight down as always. So it's really tempting to draw the weight crooked, but the weight is going to be straight down. Our normal force is going to slant because the surface is slanting. So again, we want to be perpendicular to the surface. So if I try to make right angles there, then that shows me that the direction of the normal force should be diagonally up and to the left. So diagonally up left. All right. There is no tension. It told us to neglect friction and drag. But it does say that the student is actively climbing the rock face. So we're going to have a thrust or applied force on positive physics. We don't differentiate between the two acting diagonally up to the right. All right. In our next example, a system is released from the position shown. Neglect friction and drag. And remember, we're focusing on the green object. So our weight is going to be straight down. It will be really important later that you get used to drawing the weight straight down. Our normal force. Now remember, we need to draw something that is perpendicular to the surface. So our normal force is going to be diagonally up and to the right. Let me get rid of those reference lines. And then our tension, we are touching a rope. So that tension always pulls, always draw your tension away from the object as we discussed. So the tension will be diagonally up to the left. And then it says neglect friction and drag. This physics car doesn't have a motor, so it can't generate, it's not, and it's not being touched by an active person, so we're going to have none for the others. One more example. Let's look at a student is pushing an object up an incline. All right, let's start with that weight acting straight down. In our normal force, perpendicular to the surface, so it's going to slant 
diagonally up to the left this time to be perpendicular to the surface. We don't have a tension. We are neglecting friction and drag. But we have a person actively touching the box. And if they're touching the left side, that means they're pushing it diagonally up to the right or up the hill. And we can call this an applied force or thrust. And that's it.